Hey, it's everyone, Taco here again. Uh, I made a little error last time I accidentally went one chapter over uh, 819, I went to 820 instead. But that's alright, I'll, I'll just change the title of it. Uh, but I do want to talk about this last chapter, and it is probably my favorite chapter so far. Uh, since I've been getting, since I've been reading, which was uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, even more than Gear Four, I, I, I like this chapter even more than Gear Four. Uh, it, it, it shows you how much I like it. Uh, but Jack is attacking Zhao, uh, also as Zunisia, uh, and. We find out that uh, Luffy, along with um, Momonosuke, can actually hear. They have the voice of all things, and they can hear Zunisia speaking. And this freaks out the Minx uh, because Gold D. Roger and, Orda, and, and Lord Odin. Uh, the same thing was happening with them. So this is hinting at uh, the fact that Momonosuke has inherited Odin's will and Luffy has inherited Goldie Roger's will. Uh, so that uh, that's it's very exciting to think about. But uh, anyway, we anyway there's a um, uh, what's like whether or not should, they should say something. Uh, uh, or, or not, uh, to have Momonosuke say something, uh, and it turns out that Zunisia had done something terrible in the past and was, um, uh, forced to walk for all eternity, uh, at a command. And so, you know, the only way for Zunisia to fight back is, you know, is to, uh, be commanded to attack Jack. And... Momonosuke screams at the top of his lungs to defend himself, and Zunisia slings its trunk, its massive trunk back, and just destroys Jack's entire fleet in one swift stroke. And I'm convinced Jack is dead until otherwise proven, because uh, this is the closest we've ever seen a Devil Fruit user actually splash into the into the ocean and not being heard from again uh, because not because but uh, because re uh, short of actually seeing that we've seen everything else but him actually splashing or underwater uh, but we've seen what we have seen is the classic sign of someone being defeated, which is their helmet, or some kind of facial uh, memorabilia uh, to get to come off or get destroyed, like uh, Bastille's helmet, or uh, Pika's helmet, or uh, Dolphy's glasses, all that, um, when that comes off, it's like it's like, it's Oda's way of saying, okay, this person has been officially defeated and is not coming back. Uh, not for the battle, anyway. Uh, so we see that here with Jack. And here's the thing. Jack is huge. So it's not like he can just grab onto some debris uh, or have his henchmen uh, put him onto a ship uh, you know, or put him onto a large uh, broken piece of the ship that's still floating. Uh, because most of, practically all of his crew have uh, either devil fruits or the uh, smile fruits, the artificial devil fruits. Uh, so they will pretty much all, most of them will die. Uh, or I don't, I don't know how they'd be saved, short of some of them falling on the Going Sunny or one of the other ships that are 
Uh, I think the only other ship that's there is the um, is Lost Submarine uh, for the Heart Pirates. But I mean, short of that happening, I don't see him surviving this because there's no way to get on to anything because the ship is physically under the water. The whole ship, the, all the ships are physically under the water. Um, uh, Jack has been knocked out, and he's in the middle of the ocean. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how he would be able to survive. I honestly don't. Uh, although uh, Oda, being Oda, I'm sure we'll see him again. It's, it's not like him to introduce an interesting character and just write him off that quickly. I mean, this isn't Dragon Ball Z, where uh, Goldo gets a whole backstory right before he dies. <laughs> uh, that's not Oda's style so that's yeah that's pretty much it it ends with uh, Jack going uh, getting knocked out and that's it we're, we're left wondering what will happen next so uh, from what we know is that there is this new saga starting it is the Versus the Four Emperors saga, and I'm really excited for it. Really, really excited for it because I don't know if this will be the last saga or not. It sounds like it will be. Makes sense that it will be. However, I don't think it... I think there's going to be at least one more saga after this because uh, to have all the Four Emperors involved in this saga means that everyone's been officially defeated uh, that needs to be defeated which begs question okay what is next uh, what what does Luffy do if he either befriends or defeats the four emperors um, so yeah that's it this was my thoughts and uh, uh, look forward to uh, doing another recap next week or uh, technically this week because it's Sunday, uh, when the chapter gets released on Thursday. All right, see, see you all soon.